Breaking news. Bajek Bamila, a bridge builder, says Osibanjo, Tinubu orders. Hello, my wonderful people. You know, this our leadership, especially the ones in APC, if they get somebody who does their bidding, that person is a friend for life. You know, uh, Bajek Bamila is uh, supposed to be the speaker of the House of Representatives, which he is. Why I say what's supposed to be is that he's not living up to the standard of what his office, the premise of all that his office embraces. These are arms of government as Speaker of the House of Representatives. The House is supposed to bring a balance to uh, present administration in the sense that they analyze, see to it, that the president's policies and, for instance, the borrowing and the rest, they have to, they, they need to give a consent as well as the Senate for Buhari to be able to do some of these things that they are doing, is doing continuous borrow and the rest. And guess what? They have never opposed any borrow and they've not explained to Nigerians why they have never opposed any of such. The other day, Gwaji Mamila and the, uh, the Senate president, Ahmed Lawa stood together to tell Nigerians that despite all that is happening, that you can see for yourself enough evidence to impeach Buhari, that they have not found any solid ground on which to impeach Buhari. This is the uh, speaker of the House of Representatives. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and National Leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, have described the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajigwamila, as a bridge builder whose work out cut across the tribe, religion, political parties, and generation. They spoke during the presentation of a photo book on the, on the political life of the speaker titled Bajigwamila, The Long Road in Abuja at the weekend. The book was written by the speaker's special assistant on visual communication personal photographer, Ayo Adigba. Osiban just said he is an effective bridge builder across tribes, across religion, across political parties, and even generations. He has paved, he has proven and continued to pave way for an innovative mediator and an honest broker in several local and national disputes and conflicts. He described the speaker as one of the most resilient, resourceful, successful Nigerian politician, having won election five times in the past 18 years. The vice president congratulated Adigbo on a similar photographic biography of his boss, Ayo, has gone to prove to be the creative, faithful storyteller of the political journey of the charismatic and photographic speaker, Ayo has proven to be a creative, faithful storyteller of the political journey of the charismatic photographic speaker, Gwajib Mamela. He said, they represented by the former Lagos State Deputy Governor, Femi Pedro. Tinubu said it was not by accident that Gwajib Mamela is the one of the longest serving members who is in the fifth term. He is a symbol of stressing and stirring leadership, an active promoter of the unity and prosperity of all Nigerians, and a bridge builder. He has provided and is still providing peaceful and inspiring leadership for the legislative. His leadership has fostered harmony and unity in the parliamentary and among the various arms of government, the people of Nigeria and in particular, the people of the Sirulere constituency in Lagos, are very proud of his achievement and his contribution to the development of our nation, he said. He prays Adigbo for taking up the tax of national building in his unique way through the book that will serve as a piece of the national history. The moment captured the, memo the memories that have gone and the fundamental part of our history, Tinubu had said. Senate President Ahmed Lawa also lauded the speaker. He indicated that the lawmaker would pass the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, the Petroleum Industrial Bill, and amend the Constitution within the next two months. Lawa said Gwajigwamila has been 
has been supportive in passing legislations that will improve the lives of the people. He said Nigerians would gain from the good working relationship existing between the chamber, himself and Bajigwa Miller. He assured that Nigerians will witness remarkable legislation from the National Assembly within the next two months when the Assembly will embark on its summer vacation. He indicated that the lawmakers will pass the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, the Petroleum Industrial Bill, and amend the Constitution within the next two months. He said, I want to inform Nigerians from this platform that the next two months will be, will, be, will witness very remarkable legislative past legislation passed by the National Assembly, the two chambers will work hard to ensure we pass the bills on the Petroleum Industrial Industry Bill. Equal opportunities and important issues will be ensure the passage of the Electoral Act Amendment and, of course, Amendment of Constitution between now and July. Mr. Speaker, we would be on this long road and by the grace of God before we go on summer recess we will pass this very important bill for the for the betterment and development of our country he has said so this is what is happening they are praising Bajik Mamila that he has done very well uh, apparently he did, wrote a book and there many are congratulating him and are saying he did very well you know everybody's lauding him that he's, he's doing very well I don't have a problem with everybody lauding him that he's doing very well, but let's be honest in our remark. Himself and Ahmed Lawa should do more for Nigerians. Their disposition and how they are going about things, is it truly reflecting the mind of the people? Is it truly reflecting what the people, the true desire of Nigerians? Because talk, they say, is cheap. You know, they come out and they tell us that uh, uh, this, that, 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 there are things, important matters and real issues that should be given serious and main attention. They don't do that. What do they do? They will rather, you know, focus on what they think, you know, is for them. Ahmed Lawa and the rest of them, the Senate, instead of them to, you know, give proper direction and leadership to Nigerians, they are rather doing their own thing. This is not a very, this is not a very encouraging thing. And most of them in leadership do not understand that if they, if they want to really hear the true opinion of what they have their service of their service so far, they should ask the masses, not presume themselves. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.